Yes, you read the title and thumbnail right, Justin Fields could be kick returning this year. This is going to be insane. Check out what Steelers running back Jalen Warren had to say when asked about kick returning himself. Do you think the kickoff rules will make you want to uh, maybe kick return this year at all? Um, Jalen Warren would be a great kick returner. I'm, our, our offense, or our special teams coordinator was talking about Justin Fields being back there. What, wait, they're already talking about it. What? Whoa, you breaking news okay. already? And what makes this especially interesting is the new kickoff rules. Kickers will be still kicking from the 35, but all kicking teams players other than the kicker will line up on the 40. I don't know if you guys have seen this in the XFL. This is what it looks like. The players cannot move until the ball either hits the ground or the returner catches it. And then it's kind of like a one-on-one -on -one across the entire front line. Now, what's interesting is that the NFL is adding something called the landing zone all kicks in this box between the goal line and the 20 yard line must be returned no more fair catches on kickoff and any kick that falls short of the 20 yard line which means squib kicks will be a penalty as if they kick the ball out of bounds which as you know will bring the ball all the way up to the opposite 40 and if the kicking team elects to just boot it through the end zone the ball's coming out to the 35 instead of the 25 now it's gonna be extremely interesting to see how teams strategize and take advantage of these new kickoff rules and if anyone was gonna find an advantage in the kickoff rules, it'd probably be Mike Tomlin. He's even found sideline rules that could allow him to assist in making tackles in special teams. As we've seen in the XFL, with a guy like Kevontae Turpin, speed, agility, and the ability to run with some power is a super weapon in these new kickoff rules. Because unlike the old kickoff rules, you're not gonna be able to rush the returner with a layered attack. There's just simply not enough space. And if the return man breaks a tackle, and finds a lane is it extremely quick and agile and accelerates he's gone there's no one that's gonna catch him from the other side of the football field I expect to see teams have players coming around the back and becoming like a safety player because if it's one-on-one -on -one with the kicker versus Justin Fields I think we all know what's going to happen. And Jalen Warren would be a great returner. But with the ability that Justin Fields has already shown to scramble around like a madman, basically turn extended plays into punt returns, Fields is the perfect returner to return kickoffs for the Steelers next year. And honestly, there's a bunch of guys that will be perfect returners that you probably would have never seen return kicks in the past. Because the kickoff team doesn't have 50 yards to come down and smash the returner, the injury risk is substantially lower. So if teams start to figure out this return game, they're going to force opponents to give them the 30 yard line advantage by putting Tyreek Hill or Derrick Henry's big ass out there. You think anyone's kicking the ball to Saquon Barkley with this much space and none of your defenders being able to get up to full speed by the time Saquon reaches full speed and is hitting that front line. If Justin Fields actually did return, it would be absolutely nuts because we never see quarterbacks play any other position. I mean, we saw Randall Cunningham punt. He has the third longest punt in NFL history. Bet you didn't know that fun fact. We've seen Joe Webb play almost every single position, but calling him a quarterback's a little bit generous. We've seen quarterbacks switch from QB to wide receiver like Terrell Pryor, but fail completely. Or even Tim Tebow when he became a tight end at Jaguars training camp. As fun as this would be, I don't think the Steelers are going to do it. It was probably just a conversation in team meetings that Jalen Warren is referencing to and not really something that was taken into serious consideration. For one, the Steelers have a great return man, Calvin Austin, and they signed one of the best return men in the history of the sport, Cordero Patterson. It doesn't really make sense to risk injury to Justin Fields just in case you need him late in the season because Russell Wilson sucks or just gets injured or whatever can go bad with Russell Wilson. It seems like it will. I do like the way the Pittsburgh Steelers are thinking here on this train of thought because I think that this team can make a push in the AFC North and maybe in the AFC if they can turn Justin Fields into a faster Cam Newton. I'll tell you what I mean by that, but first, make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more NFL content. And like this video so the algorithm knows to send this video out to more NFL fans like me and you. It's a free way to support the channel. And then comment how many touchdowns you think Justin Fields would take back next year if he was the return man. The Steelers almost have a replica of the 15-1 Panthers team from a few years ago. And I truly believe they could win 10, 11, 12 games if they just put Fields out there and let him loose. Don't ask him to be an elite passer. Don't ask him to stand in the pocket and deliver down the field. Let him go crazy. Let him run QB power as much as humanly possible. Like we saw with Cam Newton when he won MVP and took the Panthers all the way to the Super Bowl. Steelers heavily invested on the interior O-line, which they needed to so desperately in the draft. They have a defense that might be better than that Panthers defense that doesn't get the credit that it deserves for being one of the best defenses ever at the time. Think about the RB duo comparison here. Jalen Warren to Jonathan Stewart, maybe a little bit smaller version of him. 
and Najee Harris to Mike Tolbert. These two guys could feast in a power run scheme. Steelers need to get downhill, no nonsense, and attack the defense. Now, Russell Wilson is probably going to start the season. But if they are going to pivot towards anything, let that defense win you football games. Go out there and rush for 200 yards every week and let number one loose. Or let him be your return man. Will we see J1 running up the sidelines and scoring touchdowns for the Steelers next year? As a kick returner or as a quarterback or as a running back or as a receiver? Hell, maybe they try him out as safety. I guess sooner rather than later, the ball definitely won't lie. Thank you for tuning in to another NFL Mike Bang. Let's keep this train rolling. Check out one of my next videos. Head to the NFL Mike channel, binge watch some shorts, or just go and do whatever you want to do next. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe and like the video.